Hey guys, welcome back. So this is our next question from Lead Code SQL 50. Question number 570, managers with at least five directory boards. So here's the question. We have this table call employee with these columns and ID is the primary key. And each row in this table indicates the name of the employee, their department and the ID of their manager. So you will have, for example, here, you'll have the ID number, the name of the employee, John, the department they work in, for example, A, and then the manager ID. So the ID of the person they're reporting to. If manager ID is null, then the employee does not have a manager. So that means that that person does not have a manager, probably because he or she himself is a manager. And then no employee will be the manager of himself. So that means uh, 101 won't be the manager of 101. Similarly, 102, Dan can't report to Dan himself. So that's obvious. So, okay, so here's the question. Write a solution to find managers with at least five direct reports return the result in any order the result format is the following okay so here's an example input so this is the employee table so we have the id the name of the employee the department they work in and the manager they're reporting to and remember this manager id can also be found here so 101 actually means john here so let's say if it was one or two it would be dan so that means dan's manager id is 101 so he is reporting to john Emmy's manager ID is 101, so she's also reporting to John. So the output would be John here because five employees here, one, two, three, four, five, they're all reporting to 101. So they're all reporting to John. So uh, that's the question. Okay, so what I've done here is again, I have created the table in SQL Server Management Studio so we can play around with it. And I've selected everything from this table. So if I select from it now, I see the same data. So I've inserted the same rows so there are multiple ways of doing this so uh, one of the obvious ways of doing it is uh, using uh, self-join so we'll uh, join employee to itself call that uh, their table manager and we'll join it uh, using id and manager id but there's a simpler way of doing it so what we can do first is we can do a count of all the manager ids in this table where the count is five or greater so it has to be five or above so i can write something like this so i can do manager id from employee and i have called this table employee one because i already have a table in my database called employee i know did not want to drop it so i've called it employee one so we'll change the name later so employee one okay and i want to group it by manager id and then here i want to say where the count of id so remember we are used working with aggregate so i can say where the count of id is greater than or equal to five okay so this is gonna give me all the manager id where i have five counts so in this case it'll be 101 so this should give me 101 the manager id okay now i want to do like a sub query so i want to select from my table again just select from it so I, we can see it next to each other okay so now i want to say select all employees select the name of all employees so i'm gonna just select the name where the id is in this so where the id is that manager id that has five reports so this one is already giving you the manager id that has five or more direct reports so this this sub query has that so I'm gonna enclose it. So now I'm checking, okay, give me all the IDs. So is it one on one? Is it one or two? Which one has uh, five or more employees, direct employees? So this is gonna give me that. So remember, uh, 101, again, 101 is reporting to no one. So since the manager ID is a null, one or two, which is Dan, is reporting to employee ID 101, that is, one or, uh, that is John. 103 is also reporting to john so in this example they're all reporting to john so if i run this now i'm gonna run it run them both so this is gonna give me the name of an employee which is which has at least five or more direct reports and if i change it to six it's not gonna give me anything it's gonna give me blank here because there there are no there are no managers with six or more direct reports it's gonna that's what we expect so i'm gonna change it back to five Okay, I'm gonna copy this. So we are gonna come back to our lead code here. And then I'm simply gonna change my table name because I called it employee one there. And here is just employee. So name from employee ID, and it can be in any order, okay? So let me run it now. Run successfully. If you found this helpful, please like, share, and subscribe. And please let me know if you guys have any questions. Thank you for watching.